and maybe this is the difference between ISTD and some others, is I'm not just waiting for things to arise naturally. Um, you know, I am focused, I am intentional. So if I have some data which leads me to believe that this person defends against anger with depression, I'm going to test that out. Now, I might be wrong, and I might find out, no, it's pathological grief or it's something else, and I'm, I'm happy to adjust. So I, I have a great example. One of the themes in this interview series is talking about experiential psychotherapy. And I think I consider and you consider ISTDP to be a form of experiential psychotherapy. But I'm curious to hear from your perspective, what would you say is experiential about ISTDP? Well, I think I'm even going to start with saying yes and no, mm -hmm. um, because uh, as, as a young colleague of mine in Denmark, remarked recently, ISTDP is not primarily an emotion focused treatment. It is a psychoanalytic treatment. Mm -hmm. Habib Davila was a psychoanalyst and he became frustrated and guilty uh, with the length and the you know, erratic outcome. And so he started to experiment with getting what we might call more experience near, right? Not so cognitive, right? Much more um, really to create a, an emotionally charged atmosphere um, in the work. And in particular to do so by dealing with the defenses and resistances that people erect against that kind of engagement. Right. So he'd work on the barriers and and pointing out to people, you know, that they were there, but not there, you know, not making eye contact, remaining very vague and passive. Right. And, and so by pointing these out and the consequences of those, you know, what's going to happen if you continue to engage this way? What are you going to get out of it? Right. I mean, just sort of challenging people around that is gonna stir up feelings. Um, but this whole topic has been around, you know, since Freud and people don't realize, you know, that he was a very active challenging therapist. Most of his treatments were very brief. I mean, he had some famous you know, four and six hour treatments. I think the longest one was with the wolf man. It was six months long. Um, and so it really was uh, over time, right? That it started to get more drawn out and more intellectual, just the therapist making interpretations and hoping that if they made just the right one, you know, that that would, uh, evoke feeling. And, and so you had these rounds, people like Ferenzi and Rock saying, you know, this has become too intellectual. It has to be more emotional and also more in the here and now, looking at what's just happening in this moment. Mm -hmm. 